Hey YouTube, it's JP Dillon. Today we're looking at a very odd little portable clock radio. Uh, this is a kind of a shingle, likes to call them Hong Koi deal. This is a little Kensington, late 60s. The clock portion is wind up. The AM radio is transistorized. It was a weird little acquisition I decided to pick up. So we're going to see if it's a really quick fix or if it's something that's a little bit scarier than that. So just taking a look at this thing, it unfolds here in the case. And it's held on by leather or fake leather, so that's going to be a little bit trickier. And you can see the lovely uh, battery compartment hold down here. The crusty 9-volt battery. I'm sure that's done wonders for the circuit board inside. So let me peel this up. It doesn't look like there's been any scary intrusion of uh, battery acid, so that's good. So let's just uh, let's put a battery in it and see what it does. Heard a little click in the speaker when I connected power here. That's wide open. Doesn't go all the way down. And that's all the way up. So not very loud at all. But the front end's working at least. It's only getting really the strongest stations, which is a 700, 760, 1170, and 1360. Alright, so let's open this thing up real quick. So here's what we see on the inside. These, uh, if you watch any of Shango 066's videos, these uh, green Sanyo capacitors are almost always dead. Almost always. But uh, this thing's pretty much what I'd expect it is. Looks like it's a 3IF stage, and then uh, audio, and then it's your wind-up clock. I don't even know if that works yet, but um, let's see if we can get the board up. Looks like I have to take the knobs off. Interesting about this is that these knobs don't just pull off. There are set screws in each one, and I didn't figure that out until I uh, accidentally got the channel plate loose, and then I said, oh, there's a screw underneath there. And one's a Phillips and that one's a flathead, so you got to be careful when you're taking this out that you don't uh, destroy the knobs prying them off. Once you unscrew them, they come out real easy. And it looks like we also have to take that green wire loose to the uh, automatic switch. And all that is is an alarm. And there's a little physical switch inside of here that when the alarm triggers, it applies power to the radio and that's your alarm clock. So uh, let's unsolder this green wire and then pull the board up and do some quick tests. So right when I open my big mouth, I discover that the green things aren't capacitors, these are the transistors. Uh, and the blue things here, and this is the capacitor, these are all devices you get in, in here and you see that it's a 2SA200, 2SB137, you know, these are transistors here, so yeah, big fat mouth. But we have one, two, three, four electrolytic capacitors to test. So if you're curious here, we're just going to do some brief checks. And that one there is not very good. That one there, which is the biggest one in this set, is about dead. This one here, not doing too good either. And then the last one over here is absolutely, you know, Oh, let's get a good connection on it here. Come on. No, we're not going to do that. I was brushing up against something. Oh, look at that. It just barely, 
barely registers makes that needle twinge so and that's in the audio amplifier section so that's probably why we've got the the low output so I'm gonna go ahead and yank these things and replace them and then we'll see uh, where we go from there all right we got our caps in nice fresh Nishikons and stuff everywhere double check some soldering took care of some loose connections so now it's a matter of uh, putting the knobs back on it so I can use it and then turning it on and see how we did Much better. Five day retirement money. It takes about two weeks. It's totally legal. All right, all fixed up and working now. And for the 50th straight day, since it rose to a record, it dropped two and a half cents today. That now stands at five. All right, so all back together. I glued the knob covers back on. So this was a nice and easy one. I set the clock to, you can hear it ticking away. So far it's keeping time. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the little snippet video. More stuff to come.